behind you. I'm also on YouTube TV. Okay. Yeah, we're all YouTube TV. All right. Uh, this, this, a, uh, this might not be us. Not or not uh, at the top here. Hi, everybody. Welcome to the live show. Let's go, baby. Hey, uh, hey. High hopes right now. High hopes. <clears throat> I write down on a piece of paper every year what the bracket is. It's a little tradition of mine. That's adorable. I love it. Man. I, don't, I don't even have a blank bracket. I just have a blank piece of paper. <laughs> just on the struggle bus today, but whatever. What is, what is NC State going to get? What seat are they projected? 10? Uh, yeah, maybe. 11? I'd think 11. I'd be stunned if they're but they, Can they play in the first four or no? Um, I don't no, remember. They said, they said, um, they told Twitter told me, no, that's not possible. Yeah, no, let's okay. jump right into it. I thought they were gonna like, tea, tea no, they don't up. mess around, man. No. They don't mess around with the brackets. Yeah, I'd be really surprised if it's in Spokane. If, if, yeah, no way we're a four there. in this one, right? I'd be really surprised. That would suck. <laughs> <laughs> Design is this? Oh, hide chat overlay. Okay. Boy, two Final Four teams right there with UConn. You know, three. What? That's three of the four teams that were in the Final Four. Jeez, look at that! Holy Bruce, cow. Bruce is here. That's crazy. Why are you here, bro? This is a strictly Duke. Auburn is a four. Auburn's a four. Right, you're, you're ahead of me. Oh boy. Design is oh, he ahead boy. of you? Nah, he wore same time. We're same time. You guys are ahead of me. I'm at the mute. There's you guys. still, oh. there's still chance. There's still a chance. For oh, did we just get a three? Oh man. Yeah, but this is. It says these are in Omaha, though. I don't think this would be us. It could be. You really think they put it the, uh, on the three line in Omaha, not Brooklyn? That, that'd be messed up if they put us in Omaha. I'd be really surprised. They usually put Duke in Brooklyn. Yo, sure to like, see your feeds, yo. Earning these. Yeah, uh, let's see. Illinois, a three. That bodes less promising for Duke, obviously. Mm -hmm. yeah, um, sorry, guys. yeah. So if Illinois is a three, I mean, I should I should pull up like what we what the expectation is, right? Like we're not in the East, so yeah, we're not in the East for sure. I just meant more like who the other potential three seeds are. The other potential three well, seeds. I mean, really, well, Auburn before was we jump into it. Before we jump into it, oh uh, yeah, just when I get when I get picked, let me get the reads out the way. Obviously, yeah, shout yeah. out to you know our sponsor, Autograph. Um, you know, SAA tournament coming up. You get sixteen dollars tickets. Um, just go to Autograph. You know, download the app. Use the code Crazy. You know what it is. Um, get those sixteen dollars tickets. Um, shout out to home field, you know, for the shout out they sent. I think Ryan's wearing the hat too. We're trying to be like, Bob, let's go, let's go. Um, shout out to home field for the free hats. But yeah, home field got some new gear, so use the code crazy, go check that out. Um, but yeah, okay, we could jump right into it. No intro today, we're just we're, we're just chatting, go, go, yeah, go we're ahead. just chatting. Uh, Auburn being on the four line is promising. Um, just in the sense that I think they were a pretty obvious candidate to be a, a four and or be a three instead of us. Um, you know, we're really looking at like Baylor, Creighton, Illinois, Duke, Auburn, maybe Kansas because of the injury considerations, maybe Kentucky. Like those are sort of where we're at. I think the chances of us snagging that last three um, aren't bad. They're not bad at all right now. No, anyway. Definitely not bad. Um I'm honestly a little surprised that we're not in the East, just given that uh, UConn is in the East. And I but felt I, like if you say that we're, I, I, it, it kind of bodes well. I don't. Sorry, I kind of missed part of your talk about us being a three or a four. If we're not in the East, that means we're we're not going to be the four seed in the East. That probably fares well for us, then, right? Because if we were the yeah. top four seed, we would have probably been put in the East. Yeah, maybe. maybe, maybe you might you might be right about that. Um, <laughs> People are gonna be mad. <laughs> People are gonna be yeah. mad if Duke's a three, dude. Duke's got a a, a Yo, three. -ish I don't resume, care. Man. I don't care either. Year, I don't care. Let's be clear. Year, I don't care. We, we won the ACC tournament last year. We got. We got. We still got a five. Dude, that's and what I'm saying. They don't care about these tournaments. They don't care saying. at all. Yeah. No. So they mean nothing. Give me the three, man. I need some consistency. 
I think if we had a three seed before the loss to NC State, no, stop then me. I would then I would think we're still a three seed. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. We'll find out. They're talking about some such nonsense on the TV right now. Hey, how about NC State, man? <laughs> Hey, hats no, off to them, man! What an insane, shut up, shut up, insane shut up, shut up, run! Shout out to DJ Burns. You can't, you can't, you can't be mad at DJ Burns. If you, if you're mad at DJ Burns, you have no heart. Probably, yeah. Um, but you know, they did their thing, man. Five days, five games. That's crazy, bro. Madness. Yeah, at least, <laughs> at least they, at least it wasn't UNC. At least I, it wasn't I was UNC. so confident they were going to get massacred. I was so confident. I thought, had, I thought it was going to be close. I thought it was going to be close, and then they were going to get tired. Yeah, hundred percent. UNC had just beaten NC State. I forget the actual number. They be, they beaten NC State something like twenty nine in the last thirty five times or whatever. Like they had, they just historically, especially the Kevin Keats era, have obliterated uh, NC State. So, oh, like, Ryan, Ryan, you did ask this. What was the response? Um, oh, great question. Yeah. So it was funny is the replies were very, very aggressively like, no, it doesn't make us feel any better. But I think the poll was actually at one point. Yes, was leading. Yes, actually is winning 58 percent to 42 percent. The replies would tell you otherwise. So the question was, does this historic NC State run make you feel any better about Duke? And uh, pull it up. Yeah. 58% said yes, it does. 42% said no, but the replies got a bunch of muted people here that I have to open it up. Yeah, they all are I got called dumb. I got called, I said no, hell no. Okay. <laughs> um, let me see. Let me see. I want to see the exact numbers. How does it make you feel? <laughs> okay. It, nah, it does not make me feel any better that we lost because I still think. <laughs> People are no. kind of, you know, ignoring the fact that the way it was, it wasn't how, you know, NC State played. It was more so how we played that pissed, exactly. me, pissed me off and, you know, um, I guess made it an embarrassing loss. But, you know, they are a hot team. And I think they could, you know, they could sneak a couple wins in here in the tournament. They also could lose in the first rounds, but you never know. It's much I <laughs> I have no faith. I have no faith in them for what. But it's like worth. we didn't have faith in them against North Carolina either, right? I mean, yeah. I don't have any. I, I don't have any faith for them because I shouldn't have faith. I don't care what they do in the tournament. You know, is sure. what. <laughs> um, the reason I and we talk about how these tournaments, these uh, conference tournaments, don't normally mean much for for seeding and whatnot, and and the resume is what it is before this. But I guess if like you want to look at maybe a slight thing that makes you feel better is that like. Duke just Duke just ran into a hot team. Like this loss, maybe isn't as bad a resume wise. But like I said, it's all about the way they lost. Is is kind of what got me feeling. Uh, Ryan, they're a no they're, here. NC State's not that good. <laughs> no, <laughs> like, I'm, yeah. Like let's be honest, right? Like it, I've been watching. I know Zion, you stopped watching after the Duke loss, which is completely reasonable. But I watched a bunch of these uh, SEC games and the Big East games and the Big Ten games. They're playing different basketball than the ACC was this year. It's it's different. It's yeah. it's on a completely different level. You'll watch like a battle between a four seed and a five seed, and you'd be like, "This is such better basketball than watching Virginia and Boston College bludgeon each other to death." Right? Like it's it's just completely different. So I I don't I it's the way in which we lost for sure. Yeah. I, I don't feel great about it. Now the South. The South is coming up. Brooklyn, oh, New don't... York is the five and the four seed. Uh oh. No, I need no. the four. I need the four. Then. I, I, don't, I don't care, bro. If we're in the four in Brooklyn, give us the four. Yeah, but we could get a three in Brooklyn, too, dude. No, the, the, the two Brooklyn spots are already taken up. Oh, yeah, you're like, right. You can't, yeah, it's, these are the last two. Oh, Brooklyn man. Spots. I think we're, I, I, this might be us. This could be us right here. Yeah. I, yeah, the 13 seeds that I've seen on a lot of bracketologist lines don't scare me nearly as much as 12s do. And sure. I, bet, I mean, it makes sense, but like people were freaking out about how the 13s and 14s this year are going to be a lot stronger than most years. And I, I just don't see that being the case. Um, I think teams like James Madison and McNeese are going to be teams that are on the, the 12 to 11 line and not actually that 13, 14 line. 
think we're more so i think we're more likely to get like a colgate or somebody like that than we are uh, a james yeah, madison that eight nine game is oh, i do gotta put this on because i want to address <laughs> it hey shout out to you chris shout out to you if you do want to um contribute something for sure hit my line or hit ryan's line or hit russ's line on twitter um but we yeah, should do we that do, we do appreciate that for sure oh um, man wisconsin is a five is oh, don't brutal. put us in here don't put oh, us as a shore and have to play Wisconsin if we win. It's looking like we're about to play. Yo. <laughs> and, and Russ has been hyping Wisconsin so much yeah, dude. this week. But like, Don't be on, James bro. Madison here either. Well, yeah, I mean. No. Hey, it's going to be Duke. I mean, and, I, I'd rather have a five be against a five seed that has a really good 12 seed. Yeah. Uh, you know, real quick, shout out to to Noah Friedel. He's my step cousin starter for for James Madison. So pulling for them. Just hope to God Duke is not this four seed. I think we're going to be this step four cousin. seed. I hope he gets cooked if we play him. I'll be I'll be yeah. surprised if we're not. <laughs> yeah, there we are. Oh, no. No. oh, I'll be there. I'll be there though. At least. Oh, oh my God. No. Oh. Y'all, y'all, y'all need to relax. Relax. Vermont. Relax. Oh, someone have Vermont. I I know someone did tweet yeah. me that. Uh I have to look And we play game. Friday. No. Oh, I don't mind yeah. that. I like that actually. Yeah. No, I like I like getting it over with. Let me no, I don't like getting it over with. I like just enjoying that uh I like just enjoying that round, you know. James Madison is a 12 is brutal, man, for for Wisconsin, like Wisconsin just really acquitted themselves super, super well. And then to run into James Madison, that's a, yeah, that's a tall order. Um, yeah, Vermont, I, I, I'm not going to pretend like I know a lot about Vermont this year. Um, yeah, I'm not going to either. NC State got on 11, huh? I'm going to, I'm going to poke around at Vermont real quick just to see. Kentucky in our bracket obviously is the three seed. Well, there you go, right? Like, oh wow, oh wow. Yeah, they got it over. They got it over us. Oh wow. Hmm. Okay. But they did draw Oakland, <laughs> which I I asked my buddies from the three man weave. I was like, dude, what fourteen seeds or thirteen seeds should like Duke maybe you know be sweating a little bit? And the one name that that. Kai told me it was Oakland. He was like Oakland, maybe an eleven loss mid major is what we're supposed. To, I mean, I'm not gonna have to know anything about Oakland, but Boise and Colorado. Wait, play-ins you know, can be I, ten seeds. Yeah, the boy, the play-ins are tens this year. They announced that I think earlier today or yesterday. That's kind of what. When did that happen? Uh, earlier today or yesterday? No, but like it literally wasn't known until today. Earlier today or yesterday. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like it wasn't like announced like before the season, like, hey, this year it's 10 seeds. No, 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 no. Listen, what? um, I, I, I know a lot of you actually did tweet. I said I'm gonna oh, give yeah. a prize, and I will give a prize to whoever tweet tweeted me to correct. Um, what what's we're in the south, right? Yeah, we're in the south. Uh Dan Smith's had it 134. Uh I have to check numbers, but it looks like Dan Smith's. You are a Fed. I don't know how you had that, um, but <laughs> I'll DM. I'll, I'll DM you after. Um, we'll figure it. Unless someone else had it before you. These are a lot of responses, so I'm gonna check after. Just who had it first? Um, Good luck with that, Zion. Have fun. <laughs> okay, let me let me uh, try my best to suss out some of this stuff with uh, with Vermont. Okay. So we can look at some of the things that they do here. Okay. Um, first of all, s- small ball team, clearly, right? Like they, they're running six Oh, six, four, six, four, six, five, six, eight, you know, occasionally maybe they'll play two, six, eight guys at once, but like, they are not, uh, they have nobody that plays, uh, at all. It looks like that's like more than six, nine. Um, yeah. so, I mean, that's promising for flip. Certainly. Um, they What's also, they are a team that shoots like nonstop threes. Like they are a team that is very reliant on threes. The 35th highest uh, three-point uh, attempt rate 
but they do only shoot 33.5% from three as a team, 201st uh, in the country. So, you know, that uh, also maybe bodes promising as long as, you know, we don't dick around and let them get hot. Um, They don't turn the ball over, but they don't turn opposing teams over at all, really. That's certainly promising. They do not offensive rebound at all. Uh, but what they do is defensive rebound. They're top 10 in the country in defensive rebound rate. Um, so I wouldn't be surprised if they're just a classic. And they run slow. They're one of the slowest teams there is. So they're going to try to like really, really slow the game down. Um, and I feel like generally speaking, maybe this is, I think this is right. If you're a mid-major and you slow the game down, that's what you want, right? Because the more possessions there are, the more likely that it'll just like that the talent will bear out. So they're going to try to slow. We need to try to run. We need to try to set a faster uh, pace. Um, yeah. So it, look, it also looks like they play 10 deep. They have 10 guys that average 11 or more minutes a game. They um, have a, a deep bench. They definitely yeah, have not a deep the greatest, bench. Not the greatest matchup in that case then for us. Yeah, they, so they, go 10, they go 10 deep consistently, and they've got uh, – their scoring is very even. I mean, they have – I think seven or eight guys with seven points per game or above 12 points as their leading score with TJ long. Uh, he's their one of their guards, their bigs don't score a ton. Um, all, they're three, they have three guards that are leading scorers. So I think that kind of bodes well for Duke. If, if, well, we don't have, I don't think we're going to foster. So maybe not. Um, we will not. Yeah. We but won't. yeah, the, the forwards and, and their center not being, all that uh, lethal scoring is not to be against, but yeah, they're just like, if you, if you just pull up their like stats of their team, <clears throat> individual stats, it's just even across the board. And as you get down lower and lower, just barely dips um, to the next guy. So uh, yeah, very, I, I, this, this doesn't, sc- I mean, this screams like, a, sorry, doesn't scream. It doesn't scream like terrible matchup for Duke. The 10 deep is a little bit concerning, but um yeah, we'll we'll see, man. This is going to be. They have played. They only played one high major all year. Virginia Tech. They got absolutely blown out. Um, you know, like Becker's a good coach. Like that's a it's a winning program. They win a lot. They yeah, play. They're the, here a lot. They play the same way uh, most years. They play slow. They don't offensive rebound. They defensive rebound. Like they're going to be. They're not going to beat themselves. You know what I mean? Like they're they're going to be really disciplined. Um. So I mean, it'll just take some Duke discipline, but like they have not. Uh, look, maybe I'm maybe I'm tripping, but like they have not. Uh, <laughs> they have not played a team with Duke's talent level all year. Like not not even close. We've talked about how Virginia Tech like kind of is a, like a good mid major like talent level wise, right? Like they just have not seen anything like Duke. Yeah. So in that respect, that's really promising. Um, and again, my guys from Three Man Weave sort of told me they, they didn't they didn't see Duke having some issues uh, as long as Duke you know actually shows up and cares. Um, for who? Yeah. For for Vermont? Yeah, they didn't see Duke having issues in in the first round. Oh, okay. Um, yeah. I mean, we do got to look at it. Well, uh, hopefully, I mean, we play. Before can you pull this bracket as a whole again, Zion? If you can't full screen it. Oh, I got you. There we go. I, I I am. I mean, watching Wisconsin a little bit. I think we got to stop being soft. We got to stop. Be- <laughs> Ironically, yeah, for sure. We're like, but no, but I'm not even saying as a, as a Duke team. Like I'm I'm saying as Duke fans. <laughs> we have to, sure. A, any matchup we get at this point in the tournament, especially as a four seed, we, we, there would have been some worry. Um, yeah, but, for sure. You know. Um, I hate that, you know, we're always scared. I think, obviously, we're going to be nervous regardless. Every round. You never know. It's March. Correct. Yeah. Wisconsin, bro. Come on, man. AJ Store, beast. That's your guy, right? But That is my guy. So, uh, he, he's a lot of – he's at least a lot of fun. He can definitely sort of, like, go off and, and take ill-advised shots. He's definitely, like, one of those guys. But you, you want to talk about a guy who's, like, not scared of the spotlight at all all it's yeah. definitely aj store the, the um, thing with wisconsin is coming into the coming into this big 10 tournament they had lost eight out of 11 and so like 
they stumble. They got they got hot. How do hot teams and tournaments do uh, in their conference tournaments? How do they do coming into the NCAA tournament? I don't have it in front of me, but I feel like it doesn't always fare super well for them. So, um, and James Madison is a really good team. I've watched way more James Madison than I normally would. Like I said, shout out Noah Friedel, my step cousin on their starting lineup. They're a really balanced team, and they have three guys that can go off about any night. So. Um, just from my heart, I got to pick James Madison there, but also they're, they're a really solid team went into Michigan state and won earlier this year. A lot of people probably remember that. Um, and yeah, that's a tough matchup for Wisconsin to draw in the first round. That's for sure. Yeah, definitely. Uh, you know, Wisconsin is top 60 in Ken Palm, right? Like they, they, they're 31 and three, you know, I, I think, is. uh, yeah, JMU is. So, I mean, that's, that's really tough <laughs> yeah Jim, yeah Vernon Carey's brother is there too it's it's uh yeah and, and this is going to be a popular pick right like if you look at a lot oh, of the, the experts they're going to say James Madison and over like it's not a it's, it's going to be a popular pick and again don't know how that bodes well in the past um but they're a scary team and not want to be taken lightly if we make it and, and beat them same with Wisconsin right like they got hot at the right time they got AJ store they he can go off on any night so um not super concerned about Vermont, uh, but after that, man, um, it's gonna be it's gonna be tough. What uh, what are your guys' thoughts on Houston being our one if if we make it that far? Oh, hold on, my bad, K. Allen. Um, I could try to turn it down on YouTube. Um, oh, is it too loud on YouTube? No, uh, it's too many ads. They're saying, <laughs> uh, dude, that's also YouTube in general right now, man. Yeah. I was watching, yeah, I was watching a twenty-minute video earlier, and there were like four or five ad breaks. It was insane. What are your guys' thoughts on uh, just if we get there? We got to talk about this stuff. We're not predicting that we're we're gonna get there, but uh, thoughts on being matched up against Houston in the Sweet Sixteen, possibly. I you I not warm and fuzzy over it. <laughs> so who? And to both of you, we, we get Houston. Give me your thoughts on Houston, both of you, and then give me your thoughts on who you would have liked to have had as your as our one seed. See, see that's that's my thing. Even what who would you like to have? Like when it comes to one seeds, there is no preference. Like yeah. I, I true. Obviously, nobody wants to play. You know, UConn. Nobody wants to play. Uh, who else? Purdue. Purdue. Or, like, yeah. Just play basketball at that point. You know, we're gonna we're gonna get masked up if we get to that round. Um, you know, clearly we won two games, so we'll have some type of momentum getting there. But in terms of the matchup, I mean Houston is gonna be what they are historically. They're physical and we struggle with physical teams. Um and I mean they do have somewhat scoring this year, but they also have laws of scoring that they have historically, like we saw with um Iowa State just ran them out the gym um there are going to be moments where they struggle offensively and that's always you know a team that's going to be susceptible in march although i think they're better they, than they are in years past i do think it's a team virginia got in sorry right I just now, to throw it out there you said what virginia got in i just wanted to throw that out there oh wow oh wow oh wow keep going Zion. you're on a roll there get in. um yeah let me regain my thought um yeah i i think it's a team we could beat. Like I'm not um, on the way that you know Houston is just gonna run us out the gym. I don't even think their play style is built to run us out the gym. I just think they're they're a physical team, and we struggle with physical teams naturally. Um, so mm -hmm. you know, I don't have a preference of what number one seed. A number one seed is a number one seed at this point. Let's play ball. You know. Yeah. Yeah, uh, I, I'm generally inclined to agree, although I will say that, you know, when you look at the number one seeds and the, and the way that they play, uh, Houston definitely is the type of team, even more than like Purdue or, I mean, like I wouldn't want to, UConn also has the same sort of gritty physicality that Houston has, but teams teams like Houston just historically have gotten into Duke's chest, like Duke you know, recent in recent years has been maybe a bit more of a finesse team than a physicality team. And so mm -hmm. running into your uh, your Tennessee's last year, your obviously South Carolina 2017 was exactly like this. You know, teams that just want to win by asserting their will and being stronger than you and wanting it more than you 
Uh, I don't know if you saw that clip of Houston that they run at practice, a drill where uh, at the end of practice, they just like roll the ball out and like the first person to like dive on it and get it, you know, wins or whatever. Like they, they just straight up dive like insane people on top of one another in practice because that's just what their whole culture is. So um, I don't love that, but again, like, I also think, you know, to Zion's point, the, all of them would be really hard draws. And so yeah. you just have to, and, and the only one, frankly, maybe, I don't want to like be a total a-hole about this, but of the four teams that are probably going to be number one seeds, UNC is uh, the the worst of the four by a lot, right? Yeah. Or like, or if or if it's Arizona instead of UNC, uh, Arizona would be the worst by you know a decent margin. So, yeah. and we they wouldn't match us up with UNC anyway, not in, not in the same region. So, you know, uh, we scrimmage season earlier in the this year. year. Was that this year? That was last year, wasn't it? Who did we scrimmage this year then? Villanova, was Villanova was this year. Villanova. Houston Villanova was last year. Houston last year. You're right. Yeah, Houston, Houston tossed us around last year in the scrimmage. <laughs> yeah, that, was, that was as expected. Um, yeah, I, I know we talked a little bit. I, this is outside of Duke, but I think the, the reason they did the 10 seed uh, playing instead of the 11 was because of the amount of bid stealers they had for the 11. Had to put them into 11. Um, and then the 10s were all the bubble teams and got that, which kind of screws over like the seven seeds, right? Like then you don't really – maybe you got to – or no, it helps the seven seed actually because you get what was probably going to be an eleven seed is now your ten seed, um, so beneficial for for seven seeds that's for sure. Uh, I, I, I knew the I knew the committee was going to set up uh, this Carolina um, Arizona. Arizona. It was it was written for from the beginning of the season. It was written. <laughs> it's going to be crazy if they're the – I mean, presumably they're the one seed because if they were the two seed, they wouldn't have chosen to go to the West, right? Yeah. So presumably they are the last one seed. They get the West, and your reward is that you get to play Arizona in L.A. Uh, if you make it there. Now, granted, playing Arizona in L.A. is still probably preferable to playing, you know, UConn or Purdue or, you know, any of these other people. But, like, yeah. uh, I don't – I. It's, it's, my heart's not going to bleed for a one seed or anything, but it's definitely not an optimal draw for a one seed. No, no, definitely not. But hey, that's what happens when you're the, the last one, and it's by a pretty wide margin too. So, um, and there's no like once there's no there's no clear cut one seed in the West like a Gonzaga normally is, you know. So, yeah. I mean, there's uh, also not that I care about this at all, but like people who are here, like the ACC or whatever, there's no chance. Pitt gets in. <laughs> Pitt is toast. No, Pitt's completely toast. Um, there's, there's one more side. I'd be I'd be blown away if they made it. Um, UVA keeps on getting the passes. UVA getting in is wild. They are doo doo. <laughs> I think they'll get run out of the gym by Colorado State. Talk about like the most boring matchup you could put on a Tuesday that is probably going to be Tuesday or Wednesday, like night, trying to get excited for March Madness. You got to watch Virginia, like Colorado State. Hard. Yeah, pass. I mean, I like Colorado State well enough, but Virginia, man. Well, yeah, it, it, you could have put anybody in the other line against them, and I would have said it's going to be a boring ass game to try to get excited for March Madness on a first or well, yeah, well, first four well, game. What, what, 15 and one in conference play. That's kind of crazy. Yeah, I mean, well, the America East is is. Doo-doo. It don't matter. Like, go go. 15. I know winning is winning. I I, yeah. I I get that. Winning is winning. Where I wonder where America East. Uh, yeah, it says twenty first in the conference uh, rankings, and again, they're being super held up by Vermont to some extent. Um, what's their What's Vermont's biggest one on the year? Uh, neutral court versus Charleston. <laughs> Charleston win their tournament? No, right? Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah, they did. They're in for sure. Yeah, they made and they're it. and they're good. I mean, they're a top 100 team. Like Charleston's not nothing to sneeze at, but that is their best win. Their second best win, maybe like against Yale at home, like in Vermont. You know, that's it's not exactly a big uh, eyebrow raiser or whatever. There's it's UNC in the West. Yeah. UNC playing in Charlotte against Howard Away. Come on, Kenny Blakeney. Come oh, yeah, on. Tyler Thornton. We need the Dukies, yeah, man. You got to have a chance to do a funny thing. Come on, <laughs> do a funny thing. 
<laughs> do a funny thing. That would be uh that would be the best. It's not gonna happen, but it would be the best. Hey, um we can say that, but it has happened. Well, yeah. let's 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 put the power of the classic Duke Better Jinx back on full display. Michigan State uh getting in as a nine is fairly surprising to me. They got in as a nine? Yeah. The I mean, I'm sure they loves the Big Ten, though, man. It's crazy. Well, I mean, like Mi Michigan State is top 20 in Ken Palm. If you had them as like an 11th seed or whatever, they'd be favored over any <laughs> over any six seed. You know what I mean? Like true. True. So to some well. extent, some of these like weird ones, um, there was another one that caught my eye where it looked a little higher than you would expect. It's got to be because the metrics are so good that like you'd be doing the opponent a disservice by putting them any lower than that, yeah. which is honestly why I'm surprised that Auburn didn't really get more uh, consideration for the three line. Auburn is fourth in Ken Palm right now. <laughs> like, you know, UConn, right, congratulations. Right? You're the number one overall seed. And who do you get in the sweet 16? A top four Ken Palm team, potentially like Family that's, four. That's a rough – I mean, again, my heart's not bleeding for any one seed. There's Charleston as a 13. Man, I'm Man, that, I would have flipped Grand Canyon and Charleston there, but – No, I, uh, I'm i fine with our draw. I also – I think there's a real chance that Wisconsin loses, obviously. I, I completely agree with you. I think there's a, a, a very good chance. That line is going to come out and drop right away. I, I doubt it, uh, Josh. What did Josh say? He said, yes, yeah, do we think Killer Foster plays? No. no. It's 95, 96. <laughs> it's 96%. Uh, no. Looking at the uh, – Mexico. That's the a tough match up for Clemson. Yeah, well. <laughs> I don't care. Ross, uh, every, every single matchup besides ours is an upset waiting to happen, okay? Well, New Mexico is going to be favored by Vegas over oh, Clemson. New Mexico 23rd oh. in Ken Palm, Clemson 34th. Um, I'd be really I'd be really surprised if New Mexico doesn't open as a favorite. Hey, stop barking. I'm live here. What's wrong <laughs> is, with you? How do we feel about Baylor as a three? I don't know about that. That's a bit – I was thinking about that too, and Colgate getting a 14 – I, I, I mean that it, it just depends on the resume, right? I think their resume probably justifies it. Um, you know, uh, even with ten losses, I mean, like I'm going to pull up what their like quad one and twos are, but I mean, you've got to think that they're really good. Uh, Man, potential UNC Arizona Elite Eight. <laughs> I, did, I mean, I, I'd great. love to see it, but I also don't want UNC to get back to the Final Four, so I'd hope they lose before then. But Yeah, I, I honestly doubt we're going to get that matchup. Arizona yeah. has looked terrible of late. Yeah. Especially and they're Taylor. coming off of losing to Princeton last year. Somehow they got lucky as hell that Purdue decided to lose to a 16 seed because no one remembers that Arizona lost to Princeton last oh, year. wow. No yeah. St. John. Well, we knew no wake was happening. No piss. Dan Munson. Yeah, we know. Dan Munson has a chance to do the funniest thing <laughs> ever. A fired coach winning an NCAA One tournament on game would be hilarious. It'd be, be great. He'll get a he can get a new job somewhere else, maybe. I've got my guy Kai from Three Man Weave uh talking about our part of the bracket. He said everyone will take James Madison over Wisconsin, and they might be right. Oakland can beat Kentucky. Uh, I told you that he was high on Oakland. And then he said Houston will beat Longwood by 50. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Thanks for the insight there. <laughs> yeah. Um, oh, yeah, I, I think that our part of the bracket is fine compared to all the others. You know, it, it is what it is. Um, again, Wisconsin as a five, their 17th Ken Palm. I think that's reasonable. I mean, Kentucky's 19th Ken Palm. Uh, Wisconsin and Kentucky, if that happened, um, Wisconsin might be, you know, like a half point favorite or something. Um, who is who is Kentucky playing in the – oh, Oakland. I just didn't write it down on my thing. Yeah. Uh, Marquette, you know, is kind of interesting in the sense that uh, I don't know the health status of Tyler Kolick. They say he's going to be fully healthy, but, like, you know, the, people also just, like, say that. 
you know, um, I'm, I've been really, really impressed with Marquette, even without Cole, like they fared super, super well. Yeah. They, they look, they look fine. Not fine, but they look just, they look formidable without him. I think he's going to play, but, um, all right. So should we, should we break down Duke's side? Like, how do we want to do the rest of this? It would probably go for like an hour. So like, what do you guys want to do? You want to break down what we got going on? Yeah. You mean like personally? <laughs> Yeah, I mean, we're not we're not gonna be held to these. Like, no one's like, I mean, we can, I we can do something with it, but to... I'm not taking. Yeah. I'm not picking the final four yet, if that's what you're asking. But I think, as we talked about before, um, they said Pitt was in the first four out. Uh, Virginia in the last four in, obviously. Yeah, I think it's kind of malarkey, but whatever. Yeah, Indiana State, I'm hurt. That's I'm such a tournament team, bro. They're 29th in the net, and they're not. And, and oh man, there's a few of them like that. That's that's tough. such a tournament team, bro. That's I wanted to see. Up. I wanted to see my guy Robbie in there. You and everybody else, man. Cream, uh, Cream Abdul Jabbar. <laughs> Cream Abdul Jabbar. Virginia should not be in the tournament, right? Like no, Rick, Rick, give me Rick, Indiana Rick. State over Virginia. Yeah. That's that's. I can't believe I didn't put St. John's in there. That uh. That would have been good just to get Patino back, man. And they look they they pass the eye test to me. Mm -hmm. like they they fight hard, they work hard. Um, anyway, it doesn't matter. Uh, yeah, I mean, I I said before the bracket came out, I thought Duke could make second weekend. You know, again, assuming that we play like we give a shit, and I still feel that way. Um, you know, I don't <laughs> I don't feel warm and fuzzy about playing Houston in the Sweet Sixteen. I think historically, uh, that is the sort of game that Duke loses. Um, Which one? The Houston game. Yeah. I also don't see Nebraska or Texas A&M putting up much of a fight against Houston either. It's not like they have like like Florida Atlantic. You know, at least uh, is sort of feisty and can and can beat the best teams we've seen. They, that yeah, they've been there before. Yeah, I mean, even a, even a team like Michigan State as a nine seed, like. Look, I have no faith in this Michigan State team at all, but weirder things have happened when it comes down to like that program and that coach. But Nebraska and AM, I have I don't have any faith in them running. So Me Houston either. just a, a stone cold lock for the Sweet 16. So then you're you're looking at, well, okay, you're playing Houston. And again, I, I would think our run ends there. Whoa. <laughs> Yikes! Damn, Russ. Where are we going what you think? You think, you think I'm? You, <laughs> you think I'm happy you about it? Time. <laughs> you put me on one time. <laughs> All right, so Russ, you got. You got. You said, wait, 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 Russ. Are you putting the mortgage on Houston beating Duke <laughs> in the Sweet Sixteen? <laughs> yeah, I would. <laughs> oh, man. I would. Lock it in. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Um, yeah, so we kind of broke down. The, so yeah, Russ, you got Houston. Then who do you, Texas? Texas and Nebraska is dog water game to watch. But I, I'm going to take Buzz Williams and and A and um, I want Nebraska. I want my guy. Um, what's my dude? The uh, the shooter from Nebraska. You know, oh, what I'm talking about uh, Tom, yeah. I, I don't know how to pronounce his name, but it's a Japanese. Tomonaga. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, Tomonaga. Dude, he's he been is, like that though. He is sick to watch. He plays zero defense, and he is an absolute green light. And like, if he gets going, man, that <laughs> he's a that perfect would be market, so market much madness. fun. Him he and is. His, him and uh, I think uh, DJ DJ Burns are the the uh, the the March Madness favorites right now. Um, but he's I been killing it. Like so that Zion, are you Zion? Are you telling me that you're taking Nebraska over Houston in the round of 32? Where's that? I, I haven't even looked at, at that part of the bracket. Let me see. <laughs> it's in front of uh, us. Rock says Houston just lost by 30. Yeah, dude, to Iowa State, <laughs> who are super good and whose coach is one of the best coaches in America. Yeah, that, that is what it's going to take to at least beat Houston. At least you're going to need a guy who can be a straight gunner. Um, and maybe have a magical performance, especially against their their offense. Um, yo, can y'all stop asking about the players meeting? <laughs> like, <laughs> there's 
No info. <laughs> Nothing. Zilch. Zero. <laughs> no info. Stop, stop, Russ. Russ, stop. <laughs> uh, I didn't say anything. I said, no, I said yeah, no info. Yeah. That's interesting. Yeah, uh, um, but, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I would have to look into that matchup a bit more. But, you know, um, I will say Houston is <laughs> – could definitely attack to him and I go on defense, but um, I don't know. I'm more worried about Duke right now. So, so how far is Duke going, Zion? National championship. Yeah. Do you guys do the same thing I always do, where no matter what, I always have Duke winning it because the year that I don't do it, they're not going to win, or they're going to win it, and I'm going to lose all the money that I could have made. If I'm doing um, it for money, I do put Duke. Yes. Okay. Absolutely. But yeah. for, for exactly that reason, um, and, but like this year, I'm kind of like, and I'm older now. And like, I, I they had I, Duke as the top four seed for, for what it's worth. I mean, we could tell based on where we were placed, but yeah, yeah we yeah. were the 13th team and uh, it just said who the 12th was, but I wasn't paying close enough attention. Uh, the 12th team was Illinois. Yeah. Makes sense. Yeah. I mean, it, it's, I don't know. <laughs> Illinois is great. Illinois is really good. <laughs> yeah, they're not bad at all. But yeah, I, I like this. This year is the year that like I've been wavering the last like two weeks of like, is this the year I don't pick them in my one in my brackets? Because it's like you always got to have a Duke bracket, to, right? right? You have to. You always got to have a Duke bracket because you just never. No, I like I always I do it all my brackets. Like any, it's got to be Duke because if if I don't do it oh. and they win, I'm out money. Well. Yeah, I don't know about that. You know, I want to put no money on it, but you know. All right, so are we, are, do you want to do some picks while we're here? Sure. Let's look at the. I gotta look at the entire bracket though. Don't do the NCAA tournament, the NCAA dot com one, because there's you can't like. It doesn't seem like I can shrink it very easily. I mean, looking at looking at the one that we have right there with our region, um, you know, I Duke. like Duke's coming like, out of there. I like Houston. I like uh, between Nebraska and AM. I don't know, man. Maybe I should root for AM for our guy, Henry Coleman. Um, oh, I, just, I was thinking about that too. Yeah, but I I, I don't know. I, I have a little more faith in Nebraska just on, on the eye test of, of what I've seen. Wisconsin versus JMU, man, it, it's just so hard because you're right. Like Wisconsin was not looking good, and then they looked really good in the games I watched. Uh, but, you know, I'm going to pick James Madison. Because I a I I don't even know that I want James Madison to happen. Frankly, I don't know necessarily that James Madison and Wisconsin in a tournament style setting. I don't know which one would be better for us. Uh, James Madison's won thirty one games this year. They are very very legitimate, um, and Wisconsin has has had lulls. Um, you know, so I don't know. Maybe AJ Store just shoots them out of it or whatever. I'll take JMU. I'll take Duke in the first round. Um, it's not. It's not a matchup that completely alarms me or anything okay. okay so let's just skip to it do you take duke in the second round i'm you don't sound too confident you you yourself do not sound confident whatsoever yeah i think either matchup would be really tough i'm inclined to take duke over either of those teams um you know it's it's not. It's uh, it's the sort of thing where you're we're going to be going into that game no matter who it's against, and we're going to be like, oh man, this could this could be dangerous if we start. You know, if we do the stupid thing where we start the game down eighteen to four or whatever, then you know, yeah. those are both teams that will app that like we just aren't going to be able to come back from a deep hole against. Um, but I, I'm still inclined to take Duke over either one. They'll both be favored. Duke will be favored over either. I think for good reason. Um, so I'm generally inclined to go there. Other side of the bracket, Texas Tech over NC State. <laughs> Sorry, NC State. Uh, Grant McCaslin, another one of the really great coaches uh, in America. Kentucky over Oakland. Kentucky's just got that weird thing where they're either the best uh, team on earth <laughs> or they are completely phoning it in, you know, uh, and defensively just our turnstiles. So I don't really know what to think there. I'm I'm kind of inclined to just advance Texas Tech to the Sweet 16 regardless. Um, 
Marquette over whoever they're playing, which I can't tell because it looks really tiny. Florida. Florida. Uh, Where are you at? Where are you at? Where are you at? I'm in the South. I'm I'm in our region. I think it's the only one we cared about. Boise is that Boise State and Colorado? I mean, I'm definitely taking Boise State in that. Uh, Florida. I mean, I really like their coach, but um, I think Boise State is like. No, I mean, I guess the seeding might be fair. Um, I don't know. I think that's a close one. Uh, either way, I'm advancing Marquette um, over either of those teams. So I'd be looking at a Sweet 16 of Marquette, uh, probably Texas Tech, uh, Duke, and Houston. Again, if I'm if I'm being realistic, I'm taking Houston over Duke. I'm taking Marquette over Texas Tech. I'm just going chalk at the end of this um, and taking Houston over Marquette. Yeah, I uh, okay. So you got Houston. Let's, let's just run through Final Four picks because I don't want to bore people with going through every single game. So you got. Well, I was Houston. only I was only breaking down that because it's our region, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, all right, so Russ, you go first. You got Houston out of the South. I mean, I'm not. I'm. I'm not inclined to get. I'm not inclined to get cute with the big three with Purdue, Connecticut, Houston. Like people are going to be like Purdue lost last year. LOL. Yeah, Virginia lost in the Sweet 16 and could never win anything, and then they went all the way the next year. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not, I'm not inclined to like hold that sort of thing against them if if they've played really well this year, which they have. They're a little banged up, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna roll against that right now. I'll take Purdue. I'll take UConn. I'll take Houston. You definitely want to get cute in the West if you're going to, uh, just because it's the weakest one seed. Um, you know, Arizona would probably be favored over UNC um, in an Elite Eight game. Uh, and there are a lot of landmines in that one, too. Uh, so so maybe you get cute here. I don't know. Um, I definitely think Arizona has, uh, even though they I didn't like that Oregon game, they've got some sauce. Um, and they've got a lot of talent, which you really like. Um, I also kind of think their road lines up pretty well if as long as i i think whoever wins that arizona baylor game you know what i mean that mm-hmm. that would probably be who i would take and i'd have to sit and think about who i would pick in an arizona baylor game um given that it's played on the west coast maybe arizona gets a little gets a little boost there but that's where i would get cute either arizona or baylor there man that doesn't sound like a pick i mean we're doing our final our just like reactionary final pick? Fine, yeah, but we'll just get our reactionary Final Four picks. It doesn't have to be what you're going with, but just for now. Sure. I uh, Arizona. Okay. Cool. Zion? No, you pick your four. I'm on IG Live right now telling people to come tune in. <laughs> go ahead. Pick your four. Me? Oh, you want me to go first? Yeah, you go first. Yeah, that's what he just said. Sorry, I was looking at the bracket trying to get my picks ready. Uh but fine, you can rush me and I'll go first. Um, all right, I'm going to go – I'm just going to stick with – we'll go Duke. Just as a fan. If, if, if not Duke, um, I'll go Marquette. I'll go Marquette if it's not Duke. Um, in the Midwest, I'm going to take Creighton. I just – I think Purdue could run into a buzzsaw with Edie. Um, I, I think they. this is – like if they're going to do it, this is the year to do it, but – I love Creighton. I love the way they they uh, score the basketball. Um, so I'm going going Creighton there, and I'm I'm just reactionary here. So this isn't this isn't end all be all. In the East, God, I really want. I really I think it'd be cool if Iowa State made a run, but it's tough to bet against UConn, especially in the East. So and they're so good. Uh, yeah, we'll go we'll go UConn with uh the opportunity to to pick iowa state and the west is such a hodgepodge like you could literally be like you could make an argument that like alabama could make it or michigan no nah, maybe not michigan state but like i don't believe in baylor i don't believe in north carolina i don't believe in arizona um if i have to choose in the west <clears throat> I mean, you can get really cute with it and go with like St. Mary's or something. You Literally, know? like, like I, that's the team I was about to like maybe say, but they, uh, um, now nah, we'll we'll just for now we'll go Zona and 
and call it what it is a reactionary pick so can't get too cute without doing more research but um otherwise all right zion so i got duke creighton yukon and arizona i got yukon who's three in this i can't see this this is great listening by the way Everyone um, listening is really enjoying this. I was, there's this not a ton we can really talk about with this. This, we're not this, this is a about. live watch party. So whoever's listening, go just watch the video at this point. Yeah. Um, I'll go UConn and then I'll go Tennessee because that was my preseason Final Four pick. Mm. So I'm going I'm, I'm to live on that. Um the other bracket is tricky for me. I don't want to pick UNC. And Arizona, I don't see it. I don't either. That's why I was like, this is going to be a, a region of just disaster and mess, I think. It's going to be a very weird region. Who's the five? I can't see the five. The five is St. St. Mary's. They're My good, man. Goodness. They are really good. I don't think they're Final Four good. Um, they won, they won the, the WCC this year, right? Yeah. All it takes is the right bracket. That 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 bracket is tough. Um, so I'll skip up top and just <laughs> Duke bracket. Um, no, I I'm not going to pick Duke. I'm sorry, they haven't shown show me enough. Like and I said, honest, this isn't final. Like if we want to do another pregame show or something or pre tournament show, we certainly can and and give picks that the people can react to. This is just. Brackets out. What are we going with? Off this is initial reaction. I'll go Marquette because they're getting Colic back. Um I would have gone with Marquette too for whatever. I think I think I said that. I would have picked Marquette without Duke. And they'll just go Arizona for original orig, uh initial reaction. But it will be different when I fill up my bracket. Are right, your other one you said Arizona? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Which line which uh which region got BYU? Is that uh, the East Dude, did, yeah. With that UConn bracket, <laughs> I like, hey, UConn is really, really good, but man alive, that is a tough, tough bracket. They got the best two seed by Ken Palm. They got a, a four seed that's top four in Ken Palm. Mm-hmm. Their six seed is by miles the best six seed uh, in Ken Palm. Um, they got Illinois, who is also the best three seed in Ken Pop. Like, literally, you go down the line, best two seed, best three seed, uh, best four seed, uh, not the best five seed, but the best six seed. That's insane, dude. Yeah. That's that's a path. That's a path. Yeah. And those are some pretty well-coached teams, too. Those aren't teams that are going to roll over, like, you know, Otzelberg. And then you got Florida Atlantic in there, too. And, you know, sometimes when they get hot, they can they can take on anybody. So that's an interesting bracket to me. I just can't I can't go against them, obviously. Well, I would not trust Kansas uh heem. No, I don't trust Kansas at all. Oh, they are not <laughs> they are fumbling into that tournament. I don't trust the health either. Like I know you said like Kulik is healthy. I know they said Dickinson and McCuller will be full full strength for the tournament. I just I just don't know how much of that is just talking. You know what I mean? I don't know how much of that is just like them putting out there that they'll be full strength in hopes that the committee will, you know, look favorably upon them or whatever. Um, yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, I think Kolek did, Kolek's play style is not – it's more IQ than physical. So I sure. feel like if he's on the floor, he's going to affect the game like he naturally would. Um but yeah, it's it's this is this is kind of a weird bracket, I'll be honest. Um honestly I'll say beyond us, I mean beyond Marquette, I mean it hurts me to say this, but Kentucky could win our bracket. Um they could but obviously obviously it's the always Jekyll and Hyde with Kentucky of you know, um yeah. you don't know which one you're gonna get. The path is there for them. Kentucky is like the supersized version of like what's going on with Duke to some extent, right? Where Duke yeah. has all the talent in the world, but sometimes they just like play indifferently or, or they come out really flat. 
And Kentucky is like that too, except that when Kentucky is on, they're the best offense in, in the world. <laughs> yeah. We're um yeah, so what okay, this is my question before we get out of here. In the case of a <laughs> Kentucky Duke Elite Eight matchup, how would y'all feel about that? I would feel great. I would feel great. Yeah, <laughs> they're such a streaky great. team. They're such a streaky team that uh I just it wouldn't scare me. It'd, it'd probably be a really fun game, I would hope. But Cal just also is so insistent on uh like not playing his best players at all times on that team. Yeah. <laughs> and he's done that in the past before too. Like so he it, it's not a coaching matchup that would overwhelmingly alarm me. I'll put it that way. Right. The talent is obviously there for them to just like run us out of the gym if if they come out and play 40 minutes, you know, super, super hard. But they just haven't really done that this year. Honestly, the team that Kentucky's a little like, which maybe goes with Zion's point, uh, Kentucky's a little like Miami this year. Like the Miami team of last year, last where they year. where they just didn't play defense, uh, but they had really, really good shot making. Like if you've got really, really good shot making, then in the tournament you can go far. Um, it could definitely happen. But uh, again, Oakland, I wouldn't sleep on Oakland. As somebody just pointed out, uh in the comments yeah um you know i i, I think that that's the sort of team and, and the sort of coach that um you know don't get don't get caught sleeping you know they played ohio state to single digits they played illinois at illinois closely until the end they beat xavier at xavier um you know they they also played michigan state at michigan state they played dayton at dayton All right they They've got experience. They're not going to be scared. Yeah. What? Uh, exactly. where, where is Illinois? Oh, they're in the East. A three. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They're, they're they're a tricky team because I mean, when you got a guy that could go out for thirty five, any <laughs> at any point, it's, yeah, uh, the team could make a run. And they play hard, man. Like they got like that. Damas kid is great. Coleman Hawkins is just like such a such a fundamental like guy who outworks everyone else um you know it's 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 easy to look at the talent that they have on that team and sort of fall in love with their potential i also think underwood's a pretty good coach um so you know i i like that they'll be they'll probably be playing byu who if byu gets hot man it's just one of those things where byu can either shoot if they're shooting the ball well they are very very hard to beat and if they are not then they will get uh rolled you know is it at all reassuring that even though duke hasn't played with the gusto that we would like to see they have never been blown out this season no <laughs> <laughs> we have been blown out too i mean arkansas did blow us out we just yeah made our yeah we ha we had multiple games where at the end we started like applying some pressure that we could have applied in the first 36 <laughs> minutes of the game that then made the end result a lot closer. Yeah. Um, also, we're in a, a conference that is not good right now. <laughs> like, it's just not. So, you know, I, it, it's hard for me to get to see the force. The, the And also the best, the best losses, quote unquote, that we took this year would be something like Arizona, but it was so long ago. That was, that might as well have been another <laughs> lifetime, you Literally. know, at this point, yeah. yeah. Oh my God! Um, Zion, are we going live again before the game or no? Um, we have to figure it out. I mean, you know, we got to do the autograph stuff, you know. <laughs> but uh, we're gonna do a little. We were talking about trying to find a guest and maybe doing a little uh, preview with somebody who might be a little more familiar with, you know, yeah. Vermont and James Madison and some of the other teams. Um, I think that would be a good idea, and that probably that wouldn't maybe be live. It would be something that we would videotape and then air right zion presumably yeah i mean yeah there's there's definitely several ways to go about it um but yeah that that should definitely if we find a vermont expert i mean maybe the three we guys you know can come on the pod or something or we find a vermont local writer uh nah, well I'll, I'll i'll see if one of those guys is available they're going to be mad busy but um if we can find a time to do 
you know, a brief show with uh, one of them, I think that they would have some nice insight. I do. Kai uh, from Three Man Weave did say, because I, I sort of went to him with the like, I know we haven't been playing very well, you know, looking at these first round matchups. His response really was like, I wouldn't worry about first round matchups if I was Duke. Yeah. He, yeah. he thought, but the 13 seeds, the 14 seeds, he was like, Duke's just too much talent, you know, mm-hmm. too much talent, too much size. You know, um, a lot of those teams that we would play in any of those matchups, uh, just, you know, they haven't faced a lot of that. Right. And generally until the end of the year, Duke had done a very good job of beating teams they were supposed to beat. Yeah. And I think, you know, if all goes as planned, what's the next location after Brooklyn? See, I don't even know that. Uh, I believe it is Dallas. We would be playing Houston Last in time. Dallas. That's nasty. I don't even know if Duke fans are in Dallas. Is that a thing? <laughs> Do we have a Texas crowd? No, we're we're coastal. We're coastal elites. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. We're the coastal elites. Uh, so cool. Yeah. I mean, Duke travels pretty well. I'm sure there's probably some people around there. But, like, I also – I feel like – and this is maybe a, not an awesome note to end on, but, you know, one that I guess is worth mentioning. Is this – the like the best team by resume that Duke has had that also has bad vibes coming into the tournament. You know what I mean? Like, best I feel like my resume, you know what I mean? Like, cause we've had teams that had bad vibes ending the season, but they weren't four seeds, right? They were lower. Like I, I brought up on Twitter the last time we lost the regular season closing game and the first game of the ACC tournament was the Josh McRoberts sophomore season. Right. Which I think, I think the vibes somewhat mirror that year. Uh, but that was also a six seed year. You know, like this team un- indisputably has a better resume than that team did. So what, I was just uh, to- what what was the Grayson? Um that was a four seed, right? Uh, the, the yeah, it was four when we played Yale or three, four. Yeah, we were a four and we four. played uh Wilmington and Yale. But Oregon Oregon just said <laughs> Dreams over, buddy. <laughs> yeah, but even in that, even in that year, man, like I know we we struggled a little bit down the line, and we obviously had a huge slump in January. But like we beat a top ten Louisville team, we beat a top five Virginia team, we beat UNC at UNC. You know, we beat Indiana. Um, you know, we we just we had like a lot of Virginia. big. Huh? Beat Virginia, we beat yeah. Virginia. Yeah, air quotes. Well, we did beat Virginia. You don't remember oh, oh, I see. I, I, yeah, I, I, yeah. I see what you're saying. Hey, but for the resume, for the resume, we beat Virginia. You know, so <laughs> like, I don't know. I still feel like that team didn't have the same sort of like. I just, and maybe it's because social media is now way more prevalent and what have you. But like, it just it feels like the vibes aren't awesome, despite the fact that we have a four seed and despite the fact that we have indisputably a lot of talent on the roster yeah i would definitely say it's, it's probably first time in a while that i think we've had i because i mean I've, i think i haven't said the last episode like when's the last time we even lost the first acc game like 2013 right it's been a minute yeah like we, we haven't been in this kind of mindset in a while but you know hopefully they put it behind them yeah. Um, after after their play their, their players only meeting, so you know um, we'll see. We know we'll nothing about. Yeah, we we got no information on. Um, but yeah, I guess you know we keep a lookout, keep an eye out for any content coming this week from for you know just before the tournament game. Um, we'll try to get some stuff. Hey, if I am at the game on Friday, because I don't know. If I, get, if I have to pay for tickets, tickets kind of special. But, uh, you know, I'll try to do some stuff there. And obviously, these guys will probably hold it down. Um, Absolutely. I'll try to get some arena stuff as well. But, you know, it's a big week. Good vibes, man. This is, this is the time of the year. It's the time appreciate of the year. Appreciate everybody, um, man. This is fun. I love doing it. Watch parties are cool. This is fun. So, appreciate sure. everybody tuning in. And one, one last shout out to Autograph, obviously. Download the app. Get sixteen dollar tickets. Maybe I could try to get sixteen dollar tickets from Autograph this week. There you go. Personally, um, 
you know, and obviously home field. Use the code crazy, 15% off. Appreciate y'all, um, and we'll catch y'all later.